Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Tadej. Uh, Theodor, hello. Uh, and today we'll be discussing uh, the two types of prisms which are, uh, which are in those binoculars. So we, know, we have Abe Koenig and mm -hmm. Schmidt and Pehan prisms. Uh, Theodor, I'd like to ask you what is the most, um, what is the basic difference between those two types of prism? Well, Abe Koenig and Schmidt and Pechen prisms are the most common uh, two types of prisms which are in the family of roof, prism, uh, roof prisms, which are today most common in, uh, in binoculars. So, uh, both of these two types are named after the people who invent them, or were at least involved into the uh, development of these prisms. Let's say Abe Koenig, those are both surnames of people who worked at SAIS and who were developing this um, two prisons and Schmidt and Pechen is also two surnames for two scientists who worked on their type of, uh, of prisms. So if we go through the main differences, uh, the main difference is that even though both of these two types of prisms are roof prisms, they are quite different between each other and the first physical difference which you see is the length of the prisms. So if I put, these are all 8 by 56 binoculars. Well, these are 8 by 54 uh, binoculars of uh, size. First thing what you see is that the length of these two prisms is a lot different. I will not go much into details about the total reflection and what kind of surfaces are used and so on, but more uh, into the what the user gains with one type or the other and what are the most apparent differences you notice and the most apparent is the physical length of the prism these two binoculars have Abe Koenig prisms and these two binoculars have Schmidt and Pechen prisms they are all 8 by 56 or 8 by 54 and you see immediately how much longer these two binoculars with Abe Koenig prism are compared to the uh, to the Schmidt and Pechen uh, prisms, uh, prism types inside of these binoculars. So the physical length is the first um, main difference. Yeah. The second difference is the price. Uh, there are only, I think, four companies at the moment in Europe which produce other conic prisms. No one else in the world produces them. And these are uh, Zeiss, uh, Doctor, now called Noblex, uh, from this year onwards. <coughs> Uh, then uh, Swarovski has the SLC 56mm um, binoculars with the uh, Abic Penic prism and I think that Optolit, one small German company, is still also producing a limited number of, uh, of binoculars with the uh, Abic Penic prisms. So they're really hard to produce and this is the second uh, difference compared to the Schmidt and Pechan, they are much more expensive due to this reason. I think that these binoculars are the cheapest with the Abe Koenig prism and they're well above 1000 euros. Yes. While you can already get really cheap 8x56 or any other binoculars with Schmidt and Pechan prisms and they're produced everywhere from Philippines, China, US, everywhere, while Abe Koenig prisms are produced only in Europe. Now what do you gain with this much higher price of Abe Koenig? You gain light transmission because there is a lot of less uh, internal reflections of light inside of the prism, you get higher land transmission rate. So these binoculars with Abe Koenig prisms are almost all in the configuration of 8 by 56 or 10 by 56 with a really big objective lens yes. and meant for low light. While Schmidt and Pechan prisms are meant for everyday use and they can even be produced in a really compact form like this or even even all the pocket binoculars which are 8 by 20 or or smaller so yeah, or 10 by 25 they're also all featuring Schmidt and Pechen prism because you can produce them really compact but you lose some transmission rate so for daytime observation uh, there is no problem with Schmidt and Pechen prism is yes. used while yes. for low light still Abe Koenig has some advantage so it is the, the binoculars the Abe Koenig prisms are brighter but due to this reason they are also more expensive uh, so these are the main physical differences between between uh, okay. both two types of uh, prisms you already partly answered my question of uh, for which for which field of use would you um, 
would you prefer to use uh, Abaconic rifle, uh, uh, binocular scopes, uh, binoculars, and uh, roof uh, Schmidt and Pehan? Well, this is it. The Abaconic is for low light. Yes. This is almost uh, entirely uh, used in Europe for low light hunting, which is very popular in Europe, and Schmidt and Pehan for everything else. If we go into resolution, uh, there is possible to produce uh, both of these two binoculars on the same level of resolution and uh, the same goes for the field of view. Uh, the field of view on the top level of quality is also there is almost no difference that you would gain with any of these two types. So if you're looking for binoculars for low light use, Abiconic Prism is the right answer. For everything else, Schmidt and Pehan is the, is the obvious choice. Okay. What about um, what is what are the most common uh, versions of prism scopes uh, of prisms uh, used in the binoculars? Are Abiconic or Schmidt and Pehan? Well, most Schmidt and Pehan is is far more common and far more affordable because everybody can produce Schmidt and Pehan. It's easier to produce. Uh, this is the reason why you can buy binoculars with uh, uh, Schmidt and Pehan prism from I would say from twenty euros all the way up to. 3,000 euros. So they're far more common and they can be more affordable. While with Abiconic, you're limited to, I would say, 1,000 uh, euros and up uh, uh -huh. price range. And uh, I would say that uh, with Abiconic, there are small niche and who knows with the development of thermal and night vision optics and so on, if, if this type of binoculars will still be produced in 10 years or 20 years from now because they are really expensive to produce. Yes. Okay, I think uh, we covered most of the questions uh, from our customers. Mm -hmm. uh, if you wish to add something, if you wish to ask some other questions, feel free to subscribe to our channel, uh, leave a comment, and uh, take care. Thank you, bye.